I mean, it feels great. I mean, we really put a lot of work in uh, after our loss to TCU, and we followed uh, the scout to a T, and I feel like it got us to win. So I'm just happy for us and the guys. We'll go to Jesse. Jalen Porter talked about not only your, your 26 points, but your, your performance on defense, having a guard, you know, a really tough guy on the other side of the floor. Just what was your mindset coming in, and, and has it feel to, to be able to execute not only the defensive game plan, but score on offense as well? Well, I just came in. I feel like I had something to, to prove. Um, he's going to be a top five draft pick at the end of the day. And I just wanted to prove to to everybody, the scouts, the country, that I can hang hang, hang with them. Tanner, just take us through the court storming moments. Looks like you were having a lot of fun out there. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you even think something like that would be possible today? Yeah, absolutely. I did think it was possible. I mean, the last couple of days we've been really locked in, especially after the TCU game. And I just think us three especially came together as leaders. And, you know, we just – talked it out and you know we knew what we we had to do going forward and um that was just the, the court storming was so much fun that was incredible <laughs> we're right Jalen, i want to pee back on that you're, you're the guy that's been here the longest yeah. uh, up there what does that mean to see that scene at the lloyd noble center because i can't remember anything like that you know what i mean i don't remember the last time that's ever happened here i mean since i've been here it's never happened so just seeing that the fans were great um that's the best I think I've seen the fans ever since since I've been here, and it would be great if we could have that again on Wednesday. Question. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Um, you guys, after some of these losses, you'll talk about you know just needing that one, but obviously easier said than done to, to get there. Given the, the three-game skid, the way it went at TCU, does, does this one feel like it could be that, that bigger one, especially with Oklahoma State on Wednesday? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it could be definitely could be a turning point in our season right here. I mean, that win gave us a lot of confidence, and I mean, I think it's just going to propel us forward into the season. And that game's going to take us all the way to March. I mean, that that was a huge win, and I mean, it was just a lot of fun. And I think that we're going to be really good at building off this one. You had a great game defensively. They're so long, and they just keep coming off the bench with six nine, six ten, things like that. Talk about your strategy today, and and just handling that size that they had. Um, I think that the coaches put me in a good position. You know, we made a lot of really good adjustments throughout the course of the game, and um, I just think it, you know, comes with you know my attitude going into the game. I know that, you know, I know that these these guys are you know big and athletic, and you know I I just got to play as hard as I can no matter what, and so. Tried to do that, especially on the defensive end, and you know I think it paid dividends uh, you can tell throughout the game. Yeah, Grant, you've been in a little bit of a shooting slump the last maybe three or four games. You obviously came out of it today. What did you do to get yourself out of it? Um, I mean, it's really these guys next to me. I mean, they're just constantly in my ear. I want to say Tanner just pulled up to my crib yesterday and Jalen, <laughs> and they was just telling me, man, just like be yourself and go out there and play. And I mean, I just listened to them. So I mean, I mean, I credit these guys for sure. A bit of a big picture question, but Porter had just said that this win is a part of the vision that he has for the future years. You know, here, even if after you're graduated, how much does it mean to you to be a part of setting the foundation for what he wants this program to turn into? Um, it means means everything. To be honest, um, I want him to be here as as long as he can, ten plus years. Him to be a great Hall of Fame coach, and I think that us three right here, we can do that. And I think I think we've been doing that, and that's a that's just a goal of ours, just to help help him out. Uh, yeah, but for whoever wants to answer it, but I mean, just you know, the way the season has gone gone ups and downs. I mean, just how good does this feel right now? It's fun. That's the only thing. It's fun. Um, I I know we all hate losing more than than we love winning, but this is just fun. So. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.